Hey everybody, welcome to another uh, Fish Tech show. Um, the topic today, uh, I know I just did one yesterday and then last night uh, I had a bit of an epiphany and I realized I haven't made a video on the Albert Falls update and there's, uh, I believe there's Interprovs coming up. So obviously the guys are going to need all the new stuff because I did a lot of updates. So guys, this video is officially the Albert Falls 2024 update. Right, let's get into it. First of all, go to our chart. Show you guys where we are. We're on Albert Falls Dam. Zooming all the way in. So people around the world that do watch this know where we are. There's Africa, South Africa, we're all the way down at the bottom. Okay, let's start off with the basic chart. So what do we normally do with our Albert Falls chart? The guys that have currently got the Albert Falls chart, it's quite simple, you just go to your satellite. The reason why it's not called Albert Falls is because you've bought the Albert Falls chart and there's nothing else on it. So that's what you've got. Uh, I've defaulted this, this unit. Um, so everything you see is, is default. So this will be the step by step. If you want to follow this, this video to the T, then uh, do a restore default on your unit and uh, then go through each step with me. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, we need to get rid of the boring old uh, sandy background. And to do that, we go to chart options, we go to photo overlay, we go to full. Now guys, remember what happens here when you go to full is you lose your color isobaths. That's the first thing that, that happens. But what's nice about it, especially when you've got such a low level um, satellite as what we've got here, those contours now just really pop on top of... You see there's your one foot precision contours coming in now as we zoom in a little bit closer so it, it, it's really nice knowing exactly what the depth is guys keep in mind Lawrence does not have a excuse me a depth adjustment tool um, which is a really nice tool I wish that we did have it but we don't um, just remember when you idle out don't go and you see most of you are going to idle out from a very deep sort of area um, you know, where you've got a steep drop off like, like this and then try and make depth corrections for your chart, you know, uh, in, in your mind, obviously, because you've got to do the calculation. Um, that's, that's not going to work. Try and get out to the flats. Even if it is way out here in the, in the very deep water, get out into here. You, you, these these uh, major contour lines that you see here, the further they're apart, the more accurate your depth reading is going to be uh, for that specific depth that you're on. So if if you had to cross over that line and then follow this 60 foot contour for a while and you see that your depth is only 52 feet, you know that the dam has come down by 8 feet. Uh, so if you are targeting, let's say, your ideal depth is going to be, you want to fish 20 feet, so that's the depth that you want to target, that means on here you'd have to go to about 28 so you'll know there's your 27 28 that's going to be like the difference okay so that that's something you got to do in your mind right let's get on to the 2024 um update in in fact before i do that i just want to show you what i did late in 2023 this area here when i started mapping properly it was dry as you can see from this, we couldn't even get in there. So what, what you can do here, you've got um, Bird Sanctuary. Uh, guys, Bird Sanctuary, I drove out physically. The, it, it, it's very shallow. There were too many sticks and things in, in the water. It, it wasn't worth putting Amy in there. Uh, so I just drove it out. And as you guys all know, um, as humans, we try. Jeez, we try. But... 
we, we can't quite do what a machine does. Uh, so, but anyway, it, it's the best that I could do. But having said that, I feel all the things that you do want to see and the, and, and the things that you do want to know about, they're all there. Aha, now I've got something interesting that I'd like to discuss. Let's see this little spot here. Okay, interesting. Okay, it's a real nice little clump of weeds that all together. And it was... It doesn't look too bad here, but it's actually a lot worse than what it looks on, on the chart. There's a lot of weeds around here. The beauty of a chart, of a fish tech chart, is if there was something there, let's say there was an old foundation or an old rock pile or whatever, an old feeding trough, and we all know Albert Falls, feeding troughs are like honey. To, to bloody bass. They just love it, okay? Um, and those feeding troughs, by the way, you can find on your sediment chart. Word to the wise. Okay, um, let's say you roll up on a spot like this. There's a lot of weeds around. Um, you've got your Mega 360 on. You've got your live scope on and everything. And now you've got weeds and a lot of weeds, okay? The 360... And the live scope is going to do a fantastic job of showing you where that initial weed line is. Okay? But it can't see through the weeds. So that, let's say, feeding trough that I mentioned just now, say there was a feeding trough there, those bass are going to be there. They're going to be in those weeds, sure, but they're going to be on the feeding trough. Your Mega 360, your live scope, your active target, whatever it is, is not going to see it because it's hidden by the weeds. Sonar is not x-ray. It cannot see through things. And that's where you would flip over your, your chart. We might even do it a little bit later in this video. And you'll flick over to one of your other older views like Aerial HD, Acceptees and Cs. I know it was a weird name back in the day when I called the uh, drone pho uh, photography. Quite strange. But I know why I did it back then. Um, and boom, there it is. Okay. Um, are those troughs, are those rock piles, are those old foundations going to pack up and move around like somebody suggested the other night they said oh no it must be scanned every two to three months i i don't know rock piles and foundations and um, road beds and uh, bridges that just just pack up and move every three or four months um yeah it's a little bit strange something to think about so like they say don't believe everything you hear on uh, the internet or the interwebs there's a lot of nonsense going on there. <laughs> anyway, um, okay. Uh, then the next area that I went and did, it was actually more about testing the craft. We we're doing a little bit of a setup here. And this was the Kyolami 2023. Same story. You've got your contours over the top of it. We're going to go chart options. We're going to go full so that we can get all of that. And guys there's a lot just remember every single one of these noodles or stripes or whatever you want to call it this is a side scan so if you say oh i'm just going to go and scan kailami for the morning you're in for a long day you're in for a very very long day and unless you're running a tiny little four-stroke outboard motor that is probably going to cost you about the same as buying a whole chart another little tip for today um, the nice thing is is the confirmation obviously with uh, for example you know with your big stumps um, but guys even with this as great as this looks where you've got aerial HD I'd rather use Aerial HD. I just love Aerial HD. It, it's just the clarity and the detail of it. It's, it's just, Sonar just can't get that type of, of quality, you know. Um, 
and then of course you you've got these little photographs that pop up all over the place so you can see exactly what these stumps look like so you can get a bit more of a perspective but i'm not going to waste time on on that that's old stuff you can see that on my other old videos um let's go back to our uh Kailami 2023 Okay, there we go. Um, there's some really interesting things around here. Guys, I would, um, I'm not going to zoom in too close because the, okay, Kailami doesn't have that many interesting things, but the things that it has is very, very interesting. And I'm not going to zoom in on them and give it away. Okay, it's something you've got to find for yourself, but they're good. They're really good. But you've got to zoom right in and see the detail. Remember, how do you tell the difference between um, a navigation chart and an HD fishing chart. You zoom in. And then you zoom in some more. So when people say to me, look at this fantastic chart, I say, wow, that looks fantastic. What's that over there in the top right? Oh, no, that's such and such. Won't you zoom in? And then it just becomes this big blurry mess. I'm like, what is that? Well, I don't know, but it looked great when it was zoomed out. That's not an HD fishing chart. An HD fishing chart is a chart that you can tap on something, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. That's an HD fishing chart. You can zoom in all the way and you still know what it is. Okay, awesome tool. Right, now, for the main purpose of this video, is the Ultra HF Mid Section 2024. Same story, back chart options, full. This is a huge update. It's this whole area. What's nice about this whole area now is a lot of the weeds have died. A lot of the stuff that was there, it's been full for quite some time. I've been waiting a long time for this. For those weeds to die off and whatnot and not to interfere with the sonar and just the stuff that's really strong the stuff that's that's got some backbone to it that's going to be around for a long while i wanted to still see that and it did it and it did it in a very good way now guys each one of these lines these little passes is a side scan okay if you say, I'm just quickly going to go and map this or side scan this, you are in for one hell of a long day. This area is a big, big update. Like I said, it's 2024. Even with the map, it's a massive area. Now that you've bought it, you've bought it or you got the free update or whatever it is, or you had to buy a thousand rand uh, annual subscription with us. If you haven't bought a chart within the last 12 months, you just pay your thousand rand, you get a subscription, you send all your charts that have got uh, updates required. We do all the updates for you. If you say, no, I want to update this to a new card, you just pay the 150 rand for the card. Or if you want some super fancy card and you want your data put onto that card, you just say, listen, I'm sending my card back and I'm sending you this very, very fancy chart. Won't you please put my charts onto these fancy cards and we will do that for you at no charge okay uh so decide on a depth range okay this is not shallow water this is offshore structure this is offshore fishing okay uh, if you're planning on going bank bashing then this update is not for you but something that you might want to pay very close attention to is the edge of the weed line i mean edge of the tree line on your center trees that's something you might want to have a little look-see at, which could be very, very interesting. But let's take a case. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to do a depth correction, but I want to target a depth from 21 to 27 feet. That's a depth where, let's say, a lot of you are very comfortable fishing. So 21 to 27 feet. How do we only highlight that? Because that is a massive area might not look like it albert falls is big 
Albert Falls is not a Mickey Mouse Dam. This intersection is huge. This whole ridge, yeah, this massive, it looks like a lung, like a human's lung. That is a huge area. You've got your plantation in the middle there. You, it, it, it's a highly complex area. And if you're going to go in there with your 360 and try and work it out, good luck with that. I'm, I'm saying even if you've got the charts, you need to, um, geez, if you don't have the charts, Mm. No comment. Um, you just want to target the depth you're comfortable with. So how do we do that? We're going to go to our menu. Let's zoom in just a little bit there. What did we say? 21 to 27 feet. More options. Chart options. Categories. Remember, carefully tap there with your with with with, with your left hand thumb in the corner to get your drop down menu. And we want 21 to 27 feet. That's all we want. We're comfortable. We know we've identified the fish are really comfortable at that depth. The way you're fishing, the type of baits that you're fishing, the way you want to fish is comfortable at 21 to, to 27 feet. Let's see what it does to that massive, massive big area. Remember, see, I forgot to do it even. You go to your chart options. You got to go from photo overlay from full and change it to land only. That's so that you still get the color isobaths on top of your mosaic. <clears throat> Guys, look what it's done now. That's it. Those are the only areas that you need to go and scope now. There you go. Go around here very quickly. You can see what is worth scanning here. This edge, I'd run down this edge here see if there's any movement if they're relating to that ledge there i've caught many 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 good fish here on this particularly on this side very good fish when the dam gets low yo this area here i came fifth in the albert falls what everyone likes to call the classic it's not a classic it's just the albert falls tournament came fifth here fishing this spot here right there the fish are just loaded Two and a half kilos, three and a half, three eight, four. Okay, so there's your comfortable depth range. This side of the center trees, you can go down there. Um, you know, before you go there, I'm not saying physically go and drive down there first. Just scan down there first like this. Just sit in your boat or sit at home and quickly scan through it and say, right, is there anything worth with uh, putting my scope on here? Nah, nothing there, nothing there, there. That ledge, definitely. That looks like it's got something else on it. It's got a little bit of shrub or something on it. Definitely going to scope that. There's some trees there. Boom. Definitely going to scope that. Definitely going to have a little look, see what is going on there. Um, uh, let's find another sort of area down here uh, by the plantation. This, this could also produce, you know. Um, spend your time just, just looking for something that stands out where there's absolutely nothing don't waste your time. That's the beauty of the chart. You don't need to drive around. You don't need to waste time. Um, having said that, don't ever estimate the power of a big moving fish just randomly traveling from A to B. Very, very powerful tool. Okay. Um, mm. Yo, we. Yo, wow, wow, look at all that standing timber, wow, incredible, old foundations, it, it's just so much, okay, guys, that is the new update, that's the 2024 update, remember, you've still got all your wonderful other stuff, uh, go and look at any of my other videos, my older ones on, um, on my channel uh, just go to my channel you'll see this little magnifying glass there click on the magnifying glass next to it will pop up a little bar type in albert falls and all my uh, videos that i've done on albert falls go and watch all of them um to the guys that say no um i want to do it like a pro and i will just pitch up there on the day and i'm going to fish the tournament good luck with that that'll be fun um then the guys that say and now, hey, now I need to give this some credit where credit is due. Guys, when somebody makes a video 
and says the best thing you can do is spend time on the water. Out of that whole video I watched recently, yesterday, whenever it was, other than saying fish take is a good chart, but blah, 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 blah. Okay. They said something else that was very, very powerful. Time on the water. Now, guys, for those of you who are fortunate enough to have won the lotto or got divorced from a YouTube star and she left you a huge settlement, enough for you to retire, and you can literally go and fish every single day of your life. Guys, there, there is nothing that beats time on the water. There's no chart, there's no 360, there's no hummingbird, there's no Garmin, there's no Lawrence, there's nothing. There's nothing that beats time on the water, fishing, 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 fishing. I was very fortunate in the prime of my life. I got myself into a really nice position from a career perspective. And for almost 15 years, well, it's close to 12 years. I was semi-retired and I fished a lot and I loved it absolutely loved it um, so if any of you are in a position to do that then go for it however those of you who know me always know there's a however or a but in there somewhere I'm not talking about that but but what about the cutoff period what are you going to do in that cutoff period that you're not allowed on that body of water? You're going to go and sit in your boat, with your Mega 360 going in the, in the garage or in the carport or your live scope or whatnot? No. You're going to sit with your charts. You're going to hook your chart up to this massive big 72 inch TV that you're going to go and buy yourself after watching this video down at Macro. You're going to put it up in your man cave or whatever. You're going to hook up your HDS with the Wi-Fi and a, a HDMI adapter and you're going to sit there and study the charts and let me tell you you will be the most prepared person for that event even the guy who's retired and who's a multi-millionaire that fished for every single day leading up to the event Something to think about guys for the update um, if you have bought a chart within the last 12 months uh, it's free send the chart back uh, you do have to pay for the courier backwards and forwards you can send your courier or we'll post net it or whatever up, up to you um, and we'll update it free of charge if not if there's a chart you've had your eye on buy the chart it comes with a 12 month uh, free subscription and any chart that you have any chart any a uh, valid fish tech chart, not like an old tournament pack or an old sediment that was made back in 2009. I'm talking about a proper, you know, came in a proper little fish tech box and whatnot. Um, that we can do for you and we'll do the, the update. Um, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, give Colleen a shout and uh, make arrangements and let's get that chart to you as soon as possible to the guys fishing the interprovs in five weeks time best of luck and uh tight lines see you guys later